Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Hey, it's about time we got somebody in this house that actually knows how to fix something. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP20 Wheeljack. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now we should be used to this by now, it's the standard Masterpiece style packaging. Wheeljack, alt mode, Wheeljack, alt mode, Masterpiece. Stuff I can't read. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other. Poses, things, accessories, excitement, and more stuff that I can't read. And uh, no sad Pac-Man. No sad Pac-Man on this box. That makes me sad. But that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, of course, included in the box are the instructions, as well as the Masterpiece trading card there with a nice illustration of Wheeljack, the Cybertronian, the Cybertron mechanical engineer. And on the back, you have some more product shots and a bio that I cannot read because I can't read that language. And your tech specs, I'm assuming, if you'd like to see that. And that's it for that. Now, this is the version that comes with the special collector's coin, as you can see right here. It says Transformers. It's done in the style of Wheeljack's hood. On the back, there's nothing, just some pattern here. And you just open it up, and whoop, there is the collector's coin. Masterpiece MP20 Wheeljack. Nice coin there with Jackie's head. MP20 Wheeljack. And on the back of the coin, you just have an Autobot symbol. So, very cool. I like the collector's coins. I dig them, so... There you have that. So let's get down to the figure itself. Here is Wheeljack, who is a... What is this car? Wait, I have to pick up the card that I threw on the floor so I can read it. He is a Lancia Stratos Turbo. He's one of those. Yeah, he, he's one of those. And um, But yeah, it looks like Wheeljack. It definitely looks like Wheeljack's G1 alt mode. And it looks really cool. Very well done. Lots of nice details here. You can see how the uh, the grill right there is nice and detailed. And the paint scheme is very Jackie. That's so Jackie. It really is. Just love it. Got the 539. The Alitalia. The Lencia. All the logos there. That the G1 toy had. Nice tamper graft. Autobot symbol right there on the roof. Nice trans clearing windshield all the way around. Nice red rims. Got the taillights picked out in red. The underside, you really can't see any robot except for his hands just kind of peeking out right there. But other than that, not a whole lot of visible robot under there, so that's pretty cool. Now, when you get this guy, uh, he actually comes packaged with these side view mirrors detached. They're actually in a little baggie. You get two sets of them, actually, um, I guess, in case you uh, happen to uh, break a set. But they just, you know, you just take them out of the little sprue. And they just slot in right there. And that's all you gotta do. That's all the assembly that's required for this figure is just plugging on the, uh, the little side view mirrors. But yeah, very nicely done. Really good, good looking figure. And a good looking old mode. So for comparison, here he is with Prowl. You can see how he stacks up with Prowl. There you have that. Here he is with Side swipe. You can see how they look together. There you have that. And here he is with Prime. So you can see how he scales with Prime. And there you have that. And of course he can fit in the uh, in the trailer. Just like all the rest of them. So there he is with Prime. And, of course, we have to do it. You know we do. We do. We do. Precious! The precious little G1 Wheeljack. Oh, look at it. Look at it, look at it. Get a sense of scale there with his G1 self. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have rubber tires. These are, these are plastic, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. 
But there you have him with G1 wheel jack. And he rolls. He rolls quite nicely. Nice and smooth. Now, of course, he does come with accessories. He does come with his little pistol right here, which is done in a nice silver paint. Nice mold. Nice details. Or it could be a welding gun. Who knows? Use your imagination. That's what it's for. So you have that. There is storage for this in the alt mode. You can see the uh, the slot right there. You can just take these tabs, just plug it in like that, and there you go. And it serves as a uh, as an exhaust pipe right there in alt mode. And then of course he comes with his missile launcher. Unfortunately, this missile does not actually fire. Um, you can't pull the missile out. It actually comes packaged with the missile uh, separate. And it's just basically the case of just lining up this groove right here with these, uh, I don't know if you can see it, with our little raised tabs on the inside there. There you go. And you just line it up, slide it in, and there you go. But it is very nicely done. Again, very nice silver paint on this thing. Really, really cool. And there is storage for this in all mode as well. He does have the little spring-loaded panel right here up top. And you can just take it and just plug it right in. Like that. And of course it looks totally ridiculous, but hey, at least you could plug it somewhere. <laughs> why not? Dare I say why not? So, there you have that. So I guess there's nothing left to do but to get down to the transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing is just remove all the weapons if you have them plugged on. And we'll get started. So you want to start right here with this front section. You just kind of want to wiggle this loose here. And this is on a double hinge here, as you can see. And you just want to take it, pull it forward, and then raise it up. Like that. So you have it in that position. Once you have that done, you're going to take these side panels here, and you're going to basically push them down. Because that will untab everything. Like that. And make sure you untab the legs from the windshield here also. So you have that, and once you do that, you just extend the legs downward. Make sure you lock into place. Just extend the leg. Again, make sure that locks into place. And then you can take this whole hip assembly here. Just take this and bring it down. And this tab right here will tab into the slot right there. So you just bring it down. That'll lock into place. And now we're starting to get what looks like a lower body. Now you can take the feet, flip them up, you know, take this panel. Now I have seen people leave this panel just like that, and that's fine, it, it, it works. But the proper transformation is to take this panel, swing it around, and this tab right here will tab into the slot right in there. So just make sure you line it up. You're going to have to play with the... Uh, you have to play with the, uh, with the hinges a little bit here, because again, it's working with that that double hinge, but once you get it around, oop, there you go, once you get it around, it should tab in, it should, now it wants to make a liar out of me, it wants to toy with me, ha 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 ha, ironic, so you just want to take it, tab it right in there, there you go, bring the foot up, and there you go, and when you, when you have it transformed properly, it does kind of leave a gap there in his ankle, so, again, you, you could totally leave it like that. If it, if it bothers you that much, you can just leave it transformed like that. But the proper way is to bring that panel around like that. So once you have that done, you're going to come here. You're going to take this section right here. You're going to bring it up. You're going to untab this side section right here. You're going to bring it down like that. And then rotate it inward so the 539 is now facing the back. And... This post will plug into that port right there. Just take that, plug it in. Like that. And there you go. You got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. I'm going to say it loud because I know what annoys some people when I say that. <laughs> I'm a troll. I can't help it. All right, so what are we doing? I will start off with the foot first. So yeah. Once you have the foot up, Take this panel, bring it around. Again, you just got to play with the hinges so everything lines up there. Just tap it right in. Boop, there you go. It's not the most secure connection in the world, but it, it holds well enough. Bring that up. Untab that. Bring it down. Bring it over. Plug that in. 
And there you go. You got the legs all done. Now you're going to come up here, take the suction, untab it, bring it back. And you're going to raise up this whole rear section here, untab all that. You're going to take these sections here and rotate them to the sides, like that. And you see that reveals the, uh, the wings. Let me readjust my camera here because it's actually getting a little taller than I had anticipated. How dare you, Jackie? How dare you? Throw me for a loop like that. I thought you loved me. I thought we had something special anyway. Moving along. Now you're going to take... You want to take the wings here. You want to raise them up slightly. They are on a hinge right here. And do be careful with them because they are that transclearing plastic. So you want to be a little careful. You just want to raise them up slightly. You're going to take this little section here and bring it around. Like that. And then you can take the wings here. And bring them forward. And there is a stopping point right here. See there's a little raised tab right there and that does you know that keeps them from rotating any anymore so they're in perfect alignment so once you have that done you want to open up the chest here flip out the head close that back up make sure you close this side first and then close that side over it you want to take this panel right here and just fold that down like that you want to bring this whole section into the body like so now this is on a double hinge here so you have to make sure you have everything aligned just right there you go then bring it in up oh, you want to bring the arms out too because that gives you clearance of course I would forget to do that when I'm actually shooting it <laughs> I was doing it just fine before but basically you want to rotate that into the body like that and you want to bring this whole back panel down and this tab will plug into the slot right there and lock all that into place. So now to do the arms, you're gonna take this panel here with the spoiler, you're gonna rotate that inward, you're going to rotate the arm at the bicep swivel, so that joint is facing forward. You're gonna take the hand, bring it down, rotate it so it's oriented properly. Bring it down, and there you go. Second fast, same as the first. Take that panel, rotate it, sometimes it gets caught. Rotate it inward, rotate the arm at the bicep swivel, bring down the hand, rotate the hand, bring down the arm, and I believe we're all done. Are we all done? I think we're all done. We're all done! And there is Wheeljack in his robot mode, and he looks cool! I really like this! I am so impressed by these Masterpiece figures. It just seems like every one that comes out, I am just... I am thoroughly impressed. He looks really, really good. I mean, getting closer on the head sculpt, I mean, that is... That's that's Wheeljack. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is Wheeljack. Very cool head sculpt. He does have the, uh... The transclearance wings here. They're done in, like, a smoky plastic. And again, they do have lots of molded detail in them, too. And all around, just a very cool sculpt, a very cool design. I mean, it does look like his, his G1 self. I mean, there's no mistaking it. And just all around, very, very well done. He looks so, so cool. Now, for articulation, his head can rotate. He can look down slightly. He can look up pretty much all the way. Um, his arms can do a full 360, they can go in and out, you got your bicep swivel, you got your elbow, 90 degrees of movement there, you got your wrist swivel, you got the hands that can open and close, all the fingers are in one piece, so you just get some opening and closing fingers. He does have a waist joint, legs can go forward, back, in and out, only out that far. He does have a thigh swivel, knees, 90 degrees of movement there, the feet can pivots up and down as well as some mean ankle tiltage there that's almost obscene how much ankle tilt he has so there you go and the wings being you know hinged you can pretty much angle them how you want you can use this hinge too and actually you know angle them back a little bit if you want totally up to you it's your toy do what you want I don't care 
<laughs> so there you have that and of course you can take his missile launcher and it will plug into either port on his shoulder but I believe it is meant to go in this one just plug that in right there oh and this uh, the missile launcher itself this uh, whoa hey there Jackie it is on a, a bit of a hinge here it doesn't move that much but there's a bit of movement there on that post so just plug that in like that we'll open up his hand Give him his gun, or his welding tool, whatever you want it to be. Hey, imagination! And again, you have the tabs on either side. You have the slot in his hand. Take it, plug it in. And he holds it very, very securely. Now this version also came with this little bit right here. And this is Wheeljack's anti-hypnosis device. And, um... It's cute. I mean, it, it's cute how <laughs> they managed to throw in an accessory that they used on the show probably all of once in one episode. But still, it's cool. Done in a nice metallic paint. Nice molded details. I saw this seam going down the middle, and I thought it actually opened somehow, but it's nice, actually. I see the screw right in there. It's just, it's, it's stuck together. There's no, there's no moving it, but I thought it did. But still... It's cool, and, you know, if you want to use your imagination, it can also be a toolbox. Why not? Dare I say why not? You know why? Because it's all about the imagination! I have to stop watching Tokyuger. Oh, my God. We can hold it. His apne... Apne? Anti-hypnosis device. Or toolbox. Again, whatever you want it to be. It's your toy. There you go. So he's holding his accessories. <laughs> and he's... He is such a cool figure. I like him so much. Now for comparison. Whoa, okay, I, I, I bumped the camera while I was transforming my size comparison, so you might have just seen a violent jump right there, but if you didn't notice it, then it, it, it never happened. It, it never happened. But anyway, for comparison, here he is with Prowl. So you can see how they look together. And they look so nice together. So very nice. And here he is with... Sideswipe. Let's just try to get them all in one shot here. Let's see. There he is with Sideswipe. And here he is with Prime. You can see how they all look together. They look good. This is a good looking team. I love it. I can't wait for Bumblebee to come out. And Magnus. I, I can't wait for them to come out. Wonderfully, wonderfully done figures all around. There we have that. And just because you know I have to do it today. Pressure! She's so precious! Look at it! There he is with the old G1 Gorilla Arm Jackie. Oh. He can touch his toes without having to bend. It's just adorable. Just, just adorable. So. <laughs> there you have that. As far as Wheeljack goes. Another wonderfully done masterpiece figure by Takara. Uh, like I said before, I continue to be impressed by these figures and look forward to every release. They're just knocking these things out of the park. I'm loving them so, so much. And, you know, the inclusion of little obscure accessories like that. It's cute. You know, not necessary, but it, it, it's cute. And, of course, with this uh, version, you do get the uh, collector's coin, which is also a nice addition. And, uh, yeah, all-around nice package. Really, really cool figure. I would definitely recommend it if you have the means, if you can get this guy for a good price. Um, definitely, definitely pick him up. He is well, well worth it because he is really a amazing, amazing figure. So, I think that's pretty much it. So, don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP20 Wheeljack. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Oh, one more thing I wanted to do, and I totally forgot, but I remembered now, and that's all that matters. I wanted to compare him with uh, Masterpiece Grimlock. Now, Grimlock is wearing the uh, 
the lifts that come with Scoria. So here's Grimlock, and here's Scoria, right here. And here is Swoop. Hey! So there he is with the Dinobots. You know, since they were his, his idea, they were his creation, there he is with the Masterpiece and not Masterpiece Dinobots that we have so far anyway. So, there you go. Just wanted to uh, do that comparison because I totally forgot. Now I'm really going to go now, okay? Bye. Hey, Wheeljack! A word, please! What can I do for you, Pram? Well, um... It's the, uh, it's the Dinobots. Look, look, I, I know you meant well. I, I really do. I know you meant well, but, um, I think there's something wrong with them. What? Yeah, they're, uh, I think they're broken. What are you talking about, Pram? Cesium salami, beryllium baloney. Cesium salami, beryllium baloney. Hey. That. Look, all I'm saying is I think they need a little bit of tweaking, that's all. For example, I was making pizza bagels the other night. I stepped away to take a call, and do you know what my bagels were covered with? Slathered with? Cesium salami! Beryllium malone! That. And there's one thing we have to make perfectly clear. You mess with the bagels, you mess with the prime. I'll see what I can do. You do that! Cesium salami! Early a Maloney! You're both wrong! Now shut up! <laughs>